Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook. Job transfer for all. Sign into Holy Angel at the beginning. Chapter 66. Sheng Guan Yu took Qin Feng and the two of them to visit the scenery at the door. He took the two of them to the admissions office. Wow. What a handsome junior. This side. There is another special admission. Hurry up and receive it. Every time a freshman arrives. See handsome men and beauties. Naturally, it is the most exciting place for these students at the reception point. What's more, there are three very handsome people walking towards the reception point. Immediately, a tall and thin male classmate ran from the reception point towards the three of them. After running close, after seeing the person clearly, the boy was dumbfounded. Shangguan Shangguan Yu, Yu, why are you in charge of leading the new students? N. Shangguan Yu just nodded indifferently. Hurry up and lead the two of them to register, and I won't follow. After finishing speaking, Sheng Guan Yu looked at Qin Feng and the two of them again. I still have things to do, so I won't be with you any longer. After you register, a special teacher will introduce the rules of the school to you. Just follow the instructions. If you need anything, just give me a call. Afterwards, Sheng Guan Yu walked directly towards the school with long legs. Both come to me quickly. The boys at the reception were relieved when they saw Shang Guan Yu leave. He quickly took Qin Feng's and Wang Ya's suitcases, and very politely guided them towards the reception point. Joke. Shang Guan Ming who is that person? Freshman. Oh no, after school starts, it will be sophomore. The first person in the sophomore year. How can someone who can be received by Shang Guan Yu be a simple person? At the very least. They should be provincial champions, provincial champions, and so on. People like this may not be qualified enough. After all, there are still quite a few provincial champions. But being able to become the first person of a grade in Shengjing University, but there is only one place. With great expectations, the boy picked up the smart tablet on the desktop and logged into the school's smart system. Hello, classmate, may I ask your name and school name? Hello. My name is Qin Feng, and my student number is 1,200,132. Qin Feng took out the admission certificate and read out the information on it. After reading, Qin Feng noticed that the students at the reception point, as well as some passing students around, stopped the movements of O2 in unison, and looked towards him. Qin Feng. Oh my god. Our province is the champion of this year's college entrance examination. Oh my god, it's really Qin Feng. It's him, I've seen his college entrance examination video. Afterwards, there were exclamations. Shengjing University is naturally mostly local students from Fengxian province. Many students have seen the news of Qin Feng winning the championship on the local news and short videos. They were naturally full of curiosity about this top scorer in the college entrance examination who was born in a small fringe town and had a brand new career that had never appeared before. Therefore, they paid special attention to Qin Feng's news. At this time, Qin Feng suddenly appeared in front of them. Of course they felt shocked and surprised. Afterwards, a loud discussion erupted towards Qin Feng. My mother, Qin Feng finally chose our school. Our Shengjing University is indeed the strongest school in Daxia. That's that, I, Shengjing University, beat Kunlun and Zhongnan in Kyoto. Hiss, but I seem to remember that Chu Tianfeng, who is ranked second in the province, has just registered to enter the school. Yeah, yes, the province's number one picks are all here, so it's a good show. Onlooker discussions like this. Qin Feng has experienced at least five times. Already have some immunity. With a calm face, he stretched out his hand and waved in front of the students in charge of registration, and asked. Hello, can you help me register? Oh, the classmate reacted immediately. He reached out and took the admission certificates from Qin Feng and Wang Ya. And entered the student number and name on the tablet. Buzz. There was a shock. A brand new interface is displayed on the screen. Qin Feng's information suddenly jumped on it. Qin Feng. Age 18. Level 19. Occupation. Angel Summoner. Sequence rank 001. Wow. Here the host students read the information on the screen. Everyone is not calm anymore. What? Qin Feng was directly designated as sequence rank 001. Oh my god, isn't the sequence ranking based on the ranking of the freshman competition? 
How come Chin Fong has already become the number one before the competition begins? This is unreasonable. The inside story. There is definitely an inside story. Damn it. Chin Fung Boss 666. This can be called breaking the school rules. Indeed, since the founding of Shengjing University, there has never been anyone who has obtained a sequence ranking before the freshman competition. A bully is a bully. It's just that the school is trying to do something wrong. Chin Fung was specially approved as sequence 001, so how could those special recruits who were in the same batch as him be convinced? That is, I can already imagine the scene where those special recruits behind Chin Fung are targeting him together. Especially Chu Tianfeng and the champions from several other provinces will definitely challenge Chin Fung. This is a good show to watch. The whole Shengjing University is going to be lively again. Listening to the discussions of the students around. Chin Fung frowns slightly. What's the meaning? Is this the school directly opening the back door for itself? How about directly positioning yourself as the number one freshman? The school's approach may be treating itself as a sharpening stone. Chin Fung smiled. It's okay to be a whetstone. As long as the school doesn't feel sorry for itself for wearing out these knives. Excuse me, what benefits can I get from this sequence 001? Chin Fung had a good idea and didn't take this matter seriously. After all, strength lies here. He also has this self-confidence in his heart, that he is the most powerful person among the freshmen. Then it's not a bad idea to win this ranking early and get some benefits earlier. As for challenges, just let them come. After I have recorded the information of this classmate, a special teacher will answer it for you. The reception students saw Chen Feng nodded and quickly entered Wang Ya's information on the tablet. Wang Ya, age 18, level 17, occupation, frost mage. As expected, in Wang Ya's information column, the row of sequence ranking is missing. He did not receive preferential treatment like Chin Feng. In fact, the 100 freshmen specially recruited. Only Chin Feng was directly identified. The remaining 99 people are all pending. Only after passing the freshman competition, will the ranking be determined and the corresponding benefits obtained. Here, Chin Feng has indeed made a special case. After completing the registration procedures, Chin Feng and Wang Ya were led by a teacher at the reception to the dormitory area. According to the school's regulations, it has not been ranked before the competition. You all need to live in ordinary dormitories. But Chin Feng, since the school has determined your ranking, I will directly lead you to the exclusive villa of sequence 001. In addition, Three days later, the school will start a half-month-long special training for the 100 special students of you. The registration venue is in Building 1, and the time is 9 o'clock in the morning. You two should not miss it. Quote. In addition, our school has a total of five colleges and hundreds of clubs. While leading the way, the admissions teacher explained the basic knowledge of the school to the two of them. First, the admissions teacher explained the credit system. Unlike ordinary schools, the common currency in Shengjing University is not Daxia gold coins, but credits. After each freshman registers, he can get 100 basic credits. Credits can be used to eat, buy potions, purchase dungeon qualifications, etc. As long as it is an imaginable item, it can be exchanged for almost anything. Anyway, it has many uses. And Qin Feng is different from ordinary special admissions. As soon as he came up, he directly obtained 2,000 credits. And every day after that, his students will automatically increase by 50 points, and it will not end until his sequence ranking is challenged. This is the first benefit of sequence 001. Credit rewards. Then, there is the classification of the school's departments. Shengjing University has four departments. They are War College, Magic College, Tactical College and Sub-Professional College. The names of several colleges are very simple and clear. Let people understand what it means at a glance. Zanjung College, as the name suggests, is mainly to train students who will participate in the War of 10,000 races in the future. The admission requirements are very loose, as long as it is a combat occupation. In fact, it is the school of magic. The meaning is simpler, it is to recruit mages, wizards and other occupations that rely on magic skills to deal damage. It aims to train students to become battlefield killers like spell forts. 
the occupational restrictions for recruiting at the Tactical Academy are relatively strict. Have clear occupational restrictions. Only occupations like Battle Array Master, Array Master, and War Halo Master who can command the battlefield and have large-scale augmentation skills can be selected. As for the last sub-professional college, the occupational restrictions are much looser. As long as it is a strengthening occupation or a life occupation, you can enter. However, it is not easy for those who can enter the sub-professional college. For example, for the profession of equipment enhancer, if you want to improve your professional skill success rate, you must continue to find equipment to strengthen. Obviously, just the fact that there are countless equipment enhancements has stopped 99% of the people. It can be seen from this that to cultivate a high-level sub-professional, it takes a lot of resources to spend. The school is not a fool. So those who can enter Shengjing University's Associate Vocational College either have family support behind them, or their professional passivity is very good, and they are worthy of Shengjing University's full training. However, this academy was obviously not Qin Feng's favorite, so Qin Feng directly ruled it out. Choosing a college is usually after the freshman competition. During this time, you too can think about it carefully, don't worry. Especially Qin Feng, your profession. Forget it. I can't give you any good advice, let's listen to what the directors have to say. The admissions teacher looked at Qin Feng, thought of his occupation, and couldn't help shaking his head. According to Qin Feng's personality, he would definitely be inclined towards Battle Academy. And if it is strictly divided according to occupation, then Qin Feng. The profession of summoner will definitely belong to the magic school again. Presumably at that time, the two deans will also have a fight for talent. However, this is not within the scope of the admissions teacher's consideration. After some introduction, the three passed through the teaching area. Came to a small mountain behind the school. In the direction of the foot of the small mountain. There are dozens of luxury accommodation buildings with more than 20 floors. Well, Wang Ya, room 601, building 36. The admissions teacher looked at Wang Ya's information, then pointed to a building in front of him, and said. Wang Ya, this is building 36, you can go in by yourself, the key to the room is your student card, just swipe the card to check in. Yeah, Wang Ya nodded, and was about to pull the suitcase away when Qin Feng stopped her. Wang Ya, wait and go. After Qin Feng finished speaking, he looked at the teacher again. Wang Ya's dormitory has been allocated, what about my dormitory? The admissions teacher stretched out his hand, pointed to the direction of the top of the mountain, and said enviously, there. The top of the mountain. Qin Feng looked in the direction of the top of the mountain. Yes, that's right. Come with me. The admissions teacher waved and walked towards a nearby teleportation array. Let's go. 393 will go up with me to have a look. Qin Feng looked at Wang Ya and said. After Wang Ya hesitated for a while, she also nodded and followed. In the end, the three of them took a special teleportation array leading to the top of the mountain and came to the platform above the top of the mountain. There is a very luxurious villa on the platform. Cover an area of at least 400 square meters. The villa has a three-story structure, and the outer walls are carved with many patterns and patterns. On these patterns, one can vaguely feel the huge magical energy. Through the introduction of the admissions teacher, Qin Feng knew that these lines were used to construct the air forbidden formation. The dignity of sequence 001 cannot be offended. Even the dean and even the principal of the school. Flying over this villa is not allowed. Okay, I won't go in. The admissions tutor looked at Qin Feng, smiled, and left. Qin Feng nodded and greeted the dazed Wang Ya. Then he walked towards the interior of the villa. Squeak. After swiping the student ID card, the door of the villa opened. Brush. 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 With Qin Feng stepping in. The lights in the villa also turned on simultaneously. It was as if this villa, which had been silent for a long time, finally ushered in a real owner. It is also like a group of subjects, who really ushered in their king. Is this how 001 is treated? Interesting. Qin Feng looked at the brightly lit and majestic villa, and smiled, step into. Hi master, I am your smart service terminal, Xiao I, welcome to villa 001. Oh, Qin Feng was slightly surprised. 
I didn't expect the artificial intelligence of Shengjing University to have developed to this level. He looked at a translucent human figure in front of him, and replied. Xiao I, arrange two bedrooms for me to live in. By the way, prepare the hot water in the bathroom, I'm going to take a bath. Follow your orders, master. Xiao I responded, and then disappeared completely in an illusory figure. Ah, on the contrary, Wang Ya's face turned red when she heard Qin Feng's words. Qin Feng, isn't this too fast, why don't I go back to my dormitory? Qin Feng smiled, the two brothers hugged Wang Ya as if, pointed to the upstairs room. There are so many rooms here, just pick one to live in, what's the point of living in that crappy place down the mountain? Just living here, it can be more lively. Besides, we don't need to pay so much attention to our relationship. Then, that's fine. Wang Ya blushed and broke free from Qin Feng's arm, not knowing whether she understood Qin Feng's meaning. Then pedaled and ran upstairs. This girl, you must not have misunderstood anything. Qin Feng shook his head and said with a smile. Forget it, let him care so much. Anyway, Wang Bo asked me to take good care of Xiaoya. This should be considered a way of taking care of it. Chapter 67 After taking a shower, Qin Feng came to the balcony of the villa. Blowing the cool evening wind, looking down at the thousands of lights in the school. He soon discovered that the 001 villa was not only huge, but also the location of the mountain where it was located was extremely high. Just looking from a distance, you can have a panoramic view of a small part of Shengjing University. A kind of pride overlooking the world arises spontaneously. Qin Feng, what are you thinking about? At this time, Wang Ya, who was wearing a pink pajamas and wet hair, walked to Qin Feng's side and asked curiously. Look, Qin Feng pointed to the tall residential buildings at the foot of the mountain. Hey, it seems that many people are watching us. Wang Ya said in surprise. Yes, Qin Feng nodded. There are 100 villas in the entire mountain, only ours is lit up, and it is the most luxurious one, why not? People covet it. You got this with your real strength. Wang Ya looked down, even if they covet it, it's useless. Ha ha ha. Qin Feng patted Wang Ya's head, get some rest, I'll take you to a good place tomorrow. A good place. Qin Feng, are you going to decide to set off to find that brand new angel seed? Wang Ya was a little surprised. The monsters in the twilight forest are all above level 25. Halfway through speaking, Wang Ya thought about Xiao Yan's perverted attributes, stuck out her tongue, and stopped talking. Then I'm going to look up some more information about the twilight forest. Afterwards, Wang Ya trotted and returned to the room. Qin Feng also returned to the room after feeling the evening breeze for a while. Xiao Ai, help me look up information about twilight forest. Hum. When Xiao Ai heard Qin Feng's call, a translucent phantom suddenly appeared in front of Qin Feng. Open black lens bracket Xiao Ai is checking the information of Twilight Forest for you, please wait a moment, master, close black lens bracket. Twilight Forest is located in the north of Shengjing City, 3,000 kilometers away from Shengjing City. Close black lens bracket. There is a long-distance teleportation array in the school, which can be teleported within 50 kilometers from the Twilight Forest, and the teleportation consumes 500 credits. Close black lens bracket. Twilight Forest monster beast types. Man-faced demon spider clan, necromancer demon snake clan, necromancer. Close black lens bracket. Monster level. 28. When seeing the Twilight Forest information, Qin Feng's eyes became a little serious. This twilight forest covers an extremely large area, and it is a large mountain range that emerged after the combination of games and reality. The area is larger than the entire Shengjing University. Among them, the lowest level of monsters is also level 28, and the highest level of monsters is marked with. Not clearly marked. Then in the twilight forest, even if monsters with rank 3 or more appear, it is not surprising. Fortunately though. Creatures such as undead in the twilight forest accounted for the vast majority. Xiao Yan has a natural restraint effect on the undead. Qin Feng reckoned, with Xiao Yan's current attributes, if he doesn't encounter monsters with rank 3 or higher, there shouldn't be too many problems. Besides, Qin Feng has another speculation. That is, this new angel seed appeared in a place where the dead air was more serious. Than this brand new angel. 
Could it be related to the death attribute? I don't know if it can be perfectly compatible with Xiaoyan's holy light attribute. It's useless to think so much. The area of the twilight forest is so large, there is only a small part of the area that can be explored in three days. Even if Uncle Wang gave the approximate location, it might not be possible to meet him. Let's go and have a look first. If you can't find it, you can kill monsters to upgrade. Just to help Xiaoya improve her level, otherwise, with her strength, it would be quite dangerous to guarantee a sequence ranking. The time Qin Feng set for himself is an appropriate time to search for angel seeds. Before the freshman big competition, find the seeds and further strengthen the strength. As for the special enrollment training three days later. At that time, let's see the location chosen by the instructors. If it's the twilight forest, then you can have the best of both worlds. If not, Qin Feng would have no choice but to make an appointment with the doctor. After all, in the previous life, he had gone through countless trainings and the like. There are not many things to learn, there are many rules, and it is a waste of time. Therefore, Qin Feng didn't have a good impression of the special training at all. What's more, he doesn't think that this special training can provide him with any help. Finished learning about the twilight forest. Qin Feng looked at Xiao Ai again, and ordered. Xiao Ai, open the school's official website backquote why. Master, please wait a moment. Close black lens bracket. After a few seconds, Xiao Ai's fingers moved slightly in the void. A light screen more than one meter wide appeared in sight. The interface is very simple. There are only four blocks, which are news bulletins, school mall, task system, and school forums. Other than that, in the upper right corner of the screen, Qin Feng's personal information is also displayed. Open black lens bracket name, Qin Feng close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket college, to be determined close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket credits, 2000 close black lens bracket. Next, let's look at the purchasing power of 2000 credits. Qin Feng opened the interface of the school mall. The four major sections of medicines, equipment, skills, and materials jumped out. He took the lead in opening the medicine category. Open black lens bracket power potion close black lens bracket. Effect. Grade D. After taking it, the strength attribute will be enhanced by two points. Price. 100 credits. Open black lens bracket physical potion close black lens bracket. Effect. Grade C, enhances physical attributes by 10 points after taking it. Price, 500 credits. Lizard Earth Dragon's Blood Potion. Effect, Grade B+, plus enhance 20 points of Luang attribute and physical attribute after taking it. 1% chance to awaken a trace of Lizard Earth Dragon's blood. Price, 3000 credits. After seeing a few potions, Qin Feng has a preliminary understanding of the price of credits. On the market, the price of a Lizard Earth Dragon Potion is about 30 million yuan. Therefore, if the credits of Shengjing University are exchanged for common currency, the ratio should be 1 to 10,000 yuan. Then sequence 001 gives 50 credits every day, which is equivalent to 500,000 Daxia common currency. It's no wonder that Shang Ming said that if he can be on the school's ranking list, the benefits will be doubled. Subsequently, Qin Feng opened the school task interface again. Received some quests to collect Twilight Forest materials. Then he lay on the bed. After a while, he fell into a drowsy sleep. Nothing to say all night. Early the next morning, the sun had not yet risen, and the sky had just turned pale. Qin Feng and Wang Ya had already arranged their equipment. Take the teleportation formation leading to the Twilight Forest. After crossing out the corresponding credits. The light of the teleportation formation enveloped the two of them. Soon, the figures of the two disappeared in place. But what they don't know is that, not long after they left, a handsome man with red hair came out of the darkness. Twilight Forest. Hee <laughs> hee, Chin Feng, since you sincerely seek death, then you can't blame me. Angel, and the beauty beside him. Chu Tianfeng licked his lips, and the lustful light in his eyes flashed away. Then he took out his mobile phone and dialed Tiezi's phone number. Twilight Forest, if you fail again this time, you will know the consequences. Also, tell those idiots under your command to be careful, if the two beauties around him lose a hair. Humph. 
Chu Tianfang didn't continue talking. But anyone can hear the cruelty in his mouth. Yes, young master Chu, I understand. On the other end of the phone, Iron Beard's hoarse voice came over. Boom. After hanging up the phone, Iron Beard slammed the table. Shouted, Come here, brush, brush, brush. Immediately, four figures hiding in the dark flashed out and knelt down on the ground. The four of you are my most capable subordinates, and you are not far away from the second turn. You all heard what Chu Tianfang said just now, the boss went to the twilight forest to bring back that kid's head to me. Yes, three of the figures agreed and left. Boss, what about me? The last figure in black asked. You. Iron Beard smiled darkly. Go and watch Chu Tianfang for me. If this kid dares to go to the Twilight Forest, find a chance and kill him for me. His grandma, dare to threaten Lao Tzu. When Lao Tzu killed someone, he was still playing with mud. How dare you shit and piss on my head, it's really boring. The fourth child hesitated for a moment, then said. Where is the Chu family? Do it cleanly. If you are found out, you don't have to come back. Yes. The fourth child nodded, his tone was calm, without any waves. After going through a trance for a while, I haven't seen the scene in front of me clearly. There was a loud yelling in my ears. Twilight Forest has formed a team, four are missing one, and there is still one mage profession, the level requires 25 or more, and the priority of learning the skill of frost delay is given. I bought the thigh bone of the man-faced demon spider. 100,000 yuan in common currency. The price of the leg bone of a demon spider above level 30 is 150,000. Form a team. The Kaishan team recruits a frontline professional with a level of 35 or higher, and head to the depths of the twilight forest. Those who are capable come quickly. Listening to the yelling in my ear. Chin Feng's vision also changed from blurred to clear gradually. What came into view was a small camp composed of humans. The area is small, and the defensive offensive is also very simple. I just used some arm thick, waist high wood, and simply surrounded it in a circle. At first glance, it's not like a camp. On the contrary, it looks like a place similar to a sheepfold. There were about a hundred people in the camp. Most of them are senior hunter teams, recruiting teammates, or selling materials. Chin Feng made a general observation, and the general level of these people was around 25 to 30, so he lost interest. He helped Wang Ya tidy up the hat and mask on her face, and said. Come on, let's go straight in. The wild is almost always illegal. No one will obey the set of rules in the city. The weak eat the strong, strength is king. Wang Ya's appearance is already outstanding, coupled with being spoiled since she was a child, her body can't help exuding a luxurious and graceful temperament. Anyone with a discerning eye can tell at a glance that this is a rich man. Miss. Chin Feng asked Wang Ya to pretend, just to reduce trouble. After all, there are only three days before the training camp, and Chin Feng is unwilling to spend time on unnecessary troubles. Yeah, Wang Ya nodded, and followed Chin Feng towards the dense forest not far away. Hey, where did the little bastard come from? He dared to come to the Twilight Forest without the company of an adult. Don't you know that the Twilight Forest is a very dangerous place? Why don't I take you with me, brother, how about that? Don't worry, I'm a fighter of the second rank, I can keep you safe. At this time, a tall and thin man with a yellow face suddenly appeared and stopped the two of them. While speaking, his eyes kept sweeping back and forth on Wang Ya's slim body. It's as if you were admiring some precious items. Grass. How unlucky. Finally, two young chicks came, and this kid Shui Dao took the lead again. Hey. Shui Dao is fast. It's a pity that the two young birds will be ruined by blood knives again. Hey, over the past few years, the blood knife has spoiled less. There are not hundreds of them, but dozens of them. Who can say that they are strong? That's right, if you have the strength of the blood knife, you can do it too. In the camp, many people put their hands on the railings, looking like they were watching the excitement. They kept pointing and pointing, but no one dared to come within 50 meters. It seemed that there was some great horror near the man with the bloody knife. Chin Feng glanced around, smiled. It seems that you are one of the strongest in this small camp. Then it will be easy. Boy, what do you mean? When Shui Dao saw Chin Feng's eyes, he felt a biting cold. 
Chin Feng didn't speak. Instead, he responded with a golden spear. Under the sunlight, the spearhead exuded a dazzling brilliance, and stabbed directly at the blood knife's throat. The boy is so brave. The blood knife snorted coldly, and a blood-colored long knife suddenly appeared in his hand. The long knife was cold, and it slashed down towards the gun head. Clang. The intertwined voice of Jin, Manuohao, and she came. Shuidao only felt a huge force coming, his arm went numb, and his tiger's mouth cracked open. At the same time, Thorn Lala. There was even a strange electric current coming from the top of the long knife. It directly paralyzed the blood knife. FK. What the hell is this him? Forgive me. Shui knife looked at the combat prompt in a paralyzed state, he was really numb, and hurriedly called for mercy. Want to live. Next life. Chin Feng snorted coldly, and swung his spear forcefully. Puff Kai. Boom. The spear directly hit Shui Dao's head hard, blowing his entire head to pieces. Pat. The blood knife's body fell to the ground, splashing dust all over the place. Subsequently, red and white, gurgling out from the wound, staining the ground red, incomparably bloody and cruel. Exactly at this time, a breeze blows gently, the smell of blood was brought into the camp. Everyone watching the battle shivered involuntarily, and quickly retracted their heads. I dare not even look at it. It was as if where Chin Feng stood was like an endless abyss, one glance would lead him into the abyss and he would die directly. Sure enough, this way of handling is the best way to reduce trouble. Chin Feng glanced around and murmured. Then farm. He picked up the bloody long knife in one hand, took Wang Ya with the other, and headed towards the forest without looking back. Waiting for him to go for a long, long time. Only then did the camp change from the deathly silence to become lively again. Blood knife, just died like this. Damn it, that kid, no, that fierce man, who the hell is that? This level 19 instant kill second turn. It's outrageous. It's no wonder that people can bring their sisters to the twilight forest to level up when they are at level 19, it's amazing. I'm envious, I'm envious. If I had the strength of this little brother, would I still worry about not having a girl? I'm afraid I would have embraced him long ago. Chapter 68 Wang Shen ran to death. In a blink of an eye, an hour passed. Chin Feng and Wang Ya finally approached their destination. He looked up and saw the tall and thick trees covering the sky and the sun. The leaves are so dense that the sunlight is completely blocked, and no light shines down. The entire forest looks like a huge abyss, lying quietly on the ground, mercilessly devouring the lost adventurers. Except for the dim light. In this big forest, the trees are not normal brown either. It's pitch black. In addition, there is a layer of lingering haze floating in the middle of the forest, which adds to its terrifying atmosphere. Take a deep breath. Chin Feng firmly guarded Wang Ya behind her. At the same time, Xiao Yan was directly summoned and placed in front to explore the way. In such a dense forest, there must be a lot of monsters, so we must always be careful. Sure enough, after a quarter of an hour, he discovered the situation. At this moment, he stared at a towering tree king in front of him with a vigilant expression. There is a spider web with a diameter of more than 10 meters on the trunk. This spider web is not white. It's black, and the silk thread of the spider web is also as thick as a finger. The silk thread was also covered with spikes, reflecting a dark luster. Obviously full of toxins. However, there are no spiders on the spider web. It is obvious that it is lurking somewhere and is preparing to attack. Thinking of this, Chin Feng gripped the spear tightly. The strength of a monster is often linked to its size. For such a large spider web, its owner is probably also very huge. Maybe the level is above level 30, there is no room for sloppy. Therefore, Chin Feng did not dare to be careless at all. This idea just came up, and the sudden change occurred. Hiss. Hiss. A deep ghostly voice sounded from behind. The two spider threads shot straight towards the two of them like sharp arrows. Fortunately, Chin Feng's reaction was extremely fast. Immediately, he hugged Wang Ya directly and rolled to the side. Hide the two spider threads. The spider silk passed by and shot on the trunk. Boom. With two muffled bangs, the spider silk actually penetrated the trunk as thick as a human waist, leaving a hole as thick as a thumb. From the hole, black juice flowed out, making a, sizzling, corrosion sound. 
such a strong attack power, such a strong corrosive venom. Chin Feng sighed, rolled and jumped up, and at the same time looked at the attacker Fang Guo. It was a large black spider with a width of two feet and a human face pattern on its back. Its eight thighs, like hooks, were deeply embedded in the tree trunk. 587. At this moment, its dense eyes looked at Chin Feng, full of doubts. It had discovered Chin Feng a long time ago, and when Chin Feng passed by here, it launched a sneak attack. But I didn't expect that this weak human being could react so quickly, and even dodged its spider silk arrows that hit every shot. Open black lens bracket man face demon spider close black lens bracket. Grade. 29. Power. 329. Physique. 318. Agility. 287. Spirit. 291. Skill. Corrosive Venom Passive. The attack carries the effect of corrosive venom, which can make the wound quickly rot and suppurate. Spider Silk Arrow Active. The tail can shoot out poisonous spider silk arrows, which have a strong penetrating effect. It's the Twilight Forest. This is just getting into it. The level of the first monster encountered is close to the second turn. However, the benefits of a high monster level are also obvious, that is, the experience value increases rapidly. Three days is enough for Qin Feng Xiaoyan and Wang Ya to gain a lot of experience points. Xiaoyan, go, kill it. Qin Feng looked at Xiaoyan and said. Brush, brush. Just when Qin Feng gave the order, the man-faced demon spider attacked again. Its tail trembled slightly, and it shot out two thumb-thick spider threads, attacking Chin Feng and them again. The speed was so fast that it rubbed the air into a crackling sound. Clang. Clang. Two crisp voices sounded. With a flicker, Xiao Yan appeared in front of the two of them, and then swung the huge sword. Slapped the two strands of spider silk away like a fly. Even the venom on the spider silk failed to stain the giant sword, and it was completely purified just after touching the holy light on the giant sword. Hiss. The man-faced demon spider let out a terrified cry. The human with wings in front of me is really too strong. The two spider threads that it shot out with all its strength were cut off by her so easily. Even a fighter of the second rank can't do it. The man-faced demon spider was surprised. Whoosh. 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 Afterwards, it shot out a few more spider threads, and at the same time, it quickly fled backwards without hesitation. Brush, brush, brush. Xiao Yan dodged several times in a row, easily dodging the spider silk attack. Then, he flapped his wings violently. The speed exploded. In the blink of an eye, it rushed to the front of the man-faced demon spider. The distance between the two sides is less than half a meter. Holy slash. Xiaoyan's ethereal voice resounded through the audience. The man-faced demon spider became alert, and quickly jumped to the side, and at the same time, three spider threads shot out. But Xiaoyan followed like a shadow. While dodging the spider silk, it appeared above the head of the magic spider. The giant sword shot out the holy light and slashed down fiercely. Pooh! Holy light flashes. Xiaoyan chopped the man-faced demon spider in half with one sword strike. The green stench of blood scatter, corroding the surrounding trees and making a sizzling sound. Xiao Yan successfully killed the 29th level man-faced demon spider, and the host rewarded 400 experience points. Close black lens bracket. Xiao Yan successfully killed the 29th level man-faced demon spider, and Xiao Yan rewarded 400 experience points. Close black lens bracket. Cool. Kill monsters beyond level 10, the experience value is more. After Qin Feng, Xiaoyan and Wang Ya shared the benefits, there are still a full 400 points. Qin Feng needs only 10,000 experience points to upgrade. You only need to kill 25 man-faced demon spiders to upgrade. This leveling efficiency, take off directly. Both Qin Feng and Wang Ya showed surprise on their faces. Immediately, the two continued to explore the depths of the forest. Shengjing University. Teaching Building. Conference room on the third floor. A meeting about this special admission session is underway. Everyone, how is the performance of the special recruits in recent days? Said Chi Gang, the dean of Zanjiang College who was sitting at the head of the conference table. His body is extremely large, more than three meters high, and even the chairs are custom made, more than two meters wide. 
The voice of the voice was also like a big bell, shaking the dust from the roof to fall down. What else? Isn't it all the same? A middle-aged teacher said. Most people are greedy for the bustling scene of Shengjing City and forget to go back. They probably won't come back until the night before the training camp. Of course, there are also those who enter the school dungeon and train continuously, but such people are still a minority after all. However, there are two people worth noting. Oh, I heard the teacher say. The leaders present were all interested. Pretend to be listening carefully. Even Qi Gang sat up slightly. The teacher didn't hold back, and said directly. These two people are the top two in our Fengxian Provincial College Entrance Examination Ranking, Qin Feng and Chu Tianfeng. After a pause, the teacher said again. Both of them chose to go to the wild to upgrade monsters. The strange thing is that the places they chose were all in the twilight forest, and the time to go there was just around the corner. That's interesting, Qi Gang said with a slight smile. It's nothing more than a small fight between two children. It doesn't deserve such attention. Let's discuss the business. Zhu Huo, the dean of the Magic Academy, is a grumpy little old man. Obviously not interested in these news, he said directly. Let's study the location of this training camp and where to put it. Hear Zhu Huo's words. After thinking for a while, the people present all expressed their opinions. How about the Black Pine Mountains? The level of monsters is around 20 to 25, and there are a few golden bosses in the mountains, enough for these little guys to eat a pot. The Black Pine Mountain range is good, but isn't the level a bit high? Why not choose the Rifting Wind Valley? The average level of monsters is 22, which is not bad. There was a lot of discussion among the people, some were talking about the Black Pine Mountains, some were talking about the Rifting Wind Valley, and there was endless debate. At this moment, Qi Gang suddenly spoke. Since both Qin Feng and Chu Tianfeng have entered the Twilight Forest, I think we should choose the Twilight Forest, so as to save the two of them from going back and forth. Hiss. Hearing Twilight Forest, everyone present took a deep breath. Will this Twilight Forest be too cruel? Yeah, the level of the monster in the gaze forest is too high, can those little guys stand it? Dean Chi, you are joking with the lives of these little guys. All the teachers said one after another. The tone is full of dissuasion and disapproval. Only Zhu Huo pondered for a moment and expressed his agreement. I think it's okay, it's time to give these students a strong medicine. Look at the previous students, how have you been used to them? Apart from Shang Guan Yu, where else is there another character who can do it? If it wasn't for Shang Guan Yu's efforts to turn the tide during the last national competition, our Shengjing University would have lost all face. I haven't won the national championship for 10 consecutive years. HMPH. I, Zhu Huo, am ashamed to call myself the dean of Shengjing University. I lost all my face. Zhu Huo's spittle almost sprayed on the face of the opposite teacher. But the teachers can only listen obediently. Who told Dean Zhu Huo to be right? Except for Shang Guan Ming, Shengjing University has indeed not won the national championship for 10 consecutive years. You know, Shengjing University used to overwhelm the other three major universities and won five championships in a row. With such achievements as the background, losing for 10 consecutive years will be even more embarrassing and even more difficult. Old Chi, I think this matter is settled like this, and there is no need for a voting form. Zhu Huo calmed down and said again. Old Zhu, dictatorship and dictatorship are not in the business now. Qi Gang smiled and looked down. Anyone who disagrees with this matter can raise their hand. Old Fritters, what's the difference between you and a dictatorship? Such a big guy is staring at you, how can anyone be right? The next teachers, you look at me, I look at you, and finally acquiesced to this matter. Um, Qi Gang watched everyone's reaction and nodded in satisfaction. Since this is the case, let them go to the Twilight Forest freely instead of three days later. At the gate of the forest, set up a sign in place. If you haven't registered for three days, you can just drop out of school. And the task of this training camp is also very simple, the bottom line is to kill 10 man-faced demon spiders. The more kills, the more credits will be rewarded. The first place will give him the chance to choose a piece of gold equipment and B-level potion for free. Go, by order. Now that the decision has been made, the teachers no longer hesitate. After nodding, 
he disappeared into the conference room. Have to say, the executive power of Shengjing University is still very strong. In less than 10 minutes, on the smart terminal of all special recruiters, relevant information about the training mission appears. After seeing the information, many local students in Shengjing City, they all let out a miserable howl. Damn it, the school doesn't want us to live. Twilight Forest, it's too outrageous. That's right, last time one of my elders took me there, and I almost died there. Now let me go by myself, wouldn't I be sent to die? Team formation, the school does not restrict team formation. We can completely form a team to complete the task. I am a level 17 flame warrior, please knight teammates. I'm a level 16 priest. I'm very pretty. Do you want to take me with you? Is Mr. Chin Fung here? He can do anything. At the same time, the underground coliseum that cost billions of dollars was built underground under the branch of Li's Chamber of Commerce in Shengjing City. A blood-red figure with a murderous look was fighting two fierce tigers who were above rank 2. The tiger's copper bell-like eyes stared at the burly figure in front of him. There was a look of human disdain in his eyes. A mere human being is not enough to fit his teeth for dinner. However, as a dessert before a meal, it also has a special taste. Roar. Two roaring voices resounded throughout the audience. The next moment, two fierce tigers rushed forward at the same time, one stretched out its sharp claws, and the other opened its mouth wide, attacking and killing the figure. But this burly figure did not have the slightest fear. There was a slight pause under the feet, the power of the whole body was transmitted to the arms, and two fists were thrown head on. Boom. Boom. Two muffled sounds. The two big tigers flew upside down like two soft rags. His bones were broken, his body was limp, and he could no longer get up. Death is only a matter of time. But this figure still didn't give up. Leaping forward, he opened his mouth and bit directly on the tiger's throat. The blood was strongly gravitational, like a fountain, pouring towards his mouth. Tread tread. At this time, there was a rush of footsteps in the distance. Get out. Who dares to interrupt my eating? The burly man raised his head. His eyes showed a ferocious red light, as if he was about to eat people, he looked in the direction of the voice. Third young master, it's me. The latest news from Shengjing University requires you to rush to the Twilight Forest to participate in the training camp within three days. Hearing the slightly panicked voice of the servants, the figure seemed to have thought of something. From the rage, he recovered his sanity. The blood on the body gradually faded, and the burly body gradually returned to the size of a normal person. He licked the blood from the corner of his mouth, revealing his true face. It was the third young master of Zhang's chamber of commerce who transferred to become Zhang He of the berserker profession. At the same time, he is also the champion of the college entrance examination in Heijiang province. Zhang He looked at the next person, got it, I'll take a shower first, get my equipment ready, and I'll start right away. By the way, pack the blood of these two big tigers for me and bring it with me. After the servants retreated, Zhang He's eyes flashed with fighting intent again. Chin Feng, Chu Tianfeng, Wang Qi, wait for me. Presumably your blood will definitely bring me surprises. Chapter 69. At the same time, look at the small camp on the edge of the forest. Today also ushered in a group of uninvited guests. This group of people is powerful. Wearing a uniform aqua blue uniform, the chest of the uniform is marked with the four characters, Shengjing University, and the school's badge. Most of these people are teachers in the school. The levels are all around 40 to 50, and the style is extremely domineering. Facing these material hunters who don't know how much blood is stained in their hands, they don't have a good face at all. A burly teacher stepped forward and shouted. I'll give you 10 minutes to leave the 100-mile range of the Twilight Forest. This place is reserved by me, Shengjing University. Warning me is here, as long as you don't leave. However, if those youngsters of our Shengjing University encounter any injuries during the training camp, then these responsibilities will fall on your heads. Wow. The burly teacher's voice resounded through the audience. The entire camp fell into a moment of silence. Then, it exploded again. These people hurriedly packed up their belongings and luggage, and left in a hurry without even caring about talking too much. But three minutes, the entire camp was cleared. The burly teacher glanced around, 
nodded in satisfaction, and then waved. Leave two people and register here. The rest of the people, etc., all hid in the forest, secretly protected the safety of those little guys, and recorded the scores. Yes, after more than ten teachers nodded, their figures quickly disappeared in place. After a few flashes, it entered the jungle and disappeared completely. Open black lens bracket ding, close black lens bracket. Shao I, master, you have received a message. Close black lens bracket. Official notification from Shengjing University. This year's special enrollment training will start ahead of schedule, the training location, Twilight Forest, and the duration, 20 days. Close black lens bracket. Task requirements. Kill 10 man-faced demon spiders. Close black lens bracket. This message sounded at the same time in the smartwatches carried by Qin Feng and Wang Ya. Ha. Huh. Qin Feng was slightly surprised. Unexpectedly, the final training location was actually chosen in the Twilight Forest. He always felt that this had nothing to do with him, as Shengjing University seemed to take special care of him. But Qin Feng didn't think too much about it. Choose Twilight Forest. Just kill two birds with one stone. You can participate in the training camp together and get ranking rewards. Can take this opportunity to find the next angel seed. Afterwards, Qin Feng continued to explore forward in the direction directed by Wang Jingming. Time flies. In the blink of an eye, it was already a week later. Twilight Forest. In the jungle of tall trees. A huge, pitch-black man-faced spider whose level has reached level 31 is hiding in a dark, venom-filled spider web. Quietly waiting for the arrival of prey. As everyone knows, it is waiting for the prey at the same time. In the eyes of others, it is no different from its prey. Brush. A dazzling holy light suddenly lit up. The entire pitch black forest was illuminated like daylight. Next moment, a holy light ball the size of a watermelon hit the spider directly. Hiss. The man-faced demon spider let out a low growl. As soon as the eight sharp thighs exerted force, with the help of the elasticity of the spider web, a black afterimage was held up, and they dodged directly. Brush. At the same time, when the man-faced demon spider jumped into the air, a figure in black suddenly flashed out from behind a tree trunk. Die to me. The figure uttered a low cry, its legs exerted force suddenly, and it leapt high. Put all the strength of the whole body through the arms. The spear in his hand stabs out like a dragon. Puff. The cold spear was like a light, extremely sharp, and it directly passed through the head of the man-faced demon spider. Nailed it in midair. Blood splattered like splashed ink, splashing around. Then Qin Feng shook his arm slightly, and threw the spider's body far away. With a bang, it fell to the ground and completely lost its vitality. Buzz. A white light shot out from the corpse and merged into Qin Feng's body. Open black lens bracket ding. Close black lens bracket. You killed the man-faced demon spider, level 31, and you will be rewarded with 450 experience points. Close black lens bracket. You have upgraded, your level has been raised to level 21. Close black lens bracket. You have obtained 5 free attribute points. Close black lens bracket. Wow, brother Chin, you are so awesome. Wang Ya came out of the woods with a smile on her face, looked at Chin Feng with admiration. It's only been a week, and I've been promoted to two levels, it's really amazing. It has been 7 days since Chin Feng entered the Twilight Forest. During these seven days, Qin Feng didn't specifically go looking for monsters to kill them. Instead, they kept rushing towards the coordinates in the photo. After all, a brand new angel brings him attributes that cannot be compared with upgrades. Even so, his level didn't increase very quickly. He has already reached level 21, and Xiao Yan has also reached level 18, and it is not far from advancing again. Even Wang Ya who is rubbing experience, has reached level 19. The harvest in these seven days can be called a lot of money. And very fortunately, after seven days of continuous travel, the three of Qin Feng finally approached the coordinates of the photo. He first checked Xiaoyan's four-dimensional attributes. Open black lens bracket power close black lens bracket, 544. Open black lens bracket physical close black lens bracket, 546. Open black lens bracket speed close black lens bracket, 537.
Open black lens bracket close black lens bracket. 869. Um. Chin Feng nodded in satisfaction. Xiaoyan's spiritual attribute is about to break through a thousand points. This attribute has far crushed those second turn professionals. Even the distance from those three rank professionals is about the same. To know, Xiaoyan's current level is less than 20. If Xiaoyan succeeds in advancing again, it is estimated that even the ordinary three turns can't stop it at all. Subsequently, Qin Feng checked his own four-dimensional attribute again. Open black lens bracket power close black lens bracket. 387. Open black lens bracket physical close black lens bracket. 365. Open black lens bracket speed close black lens bracket. 369. Open black lens bracket spirit close black lens bracket. 432. Qin Feng, who wore four pieces of gold equipment, also inherited part of Xiaoyan's attributes. The attribute value also looks very luxurious now. It is almost an existence that can walk sideways in the twilight forest. These man-faced demon spiders did not pose any threat to him at all. Basically a one-hit kill. Let's go, I guess we're already close to our destination. Qin Feng looked at Wang Ya and said. At the same time, his heart became extremely expectant. The second angel, Qin Feng came. But at this moment, a sudden change occurred in the field. Boom, 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 hiss, 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 several explosions. A few small dirt bags in front exploded and flew into the air. Three red pythons with coxcombs on their heads broke through the ground. These boa constrictors were not too big, only the thickness of arms, but they gave Qin Feng a creepy feeling. Stared at by their cold and dark yellow eyes, the heart can't stop beating, which is very penetrating. Brother, I feel the smell of death. At this moment, Xiao Yan suddenly spoke. The smell of death. Qin Feng was slightly taken aback. Even in the silent cemetery, when facing the skeleton king, Xiao Yan didn't speak. Is there really any difference between these big snakes? With curiosity, Qin Feng used identification on the big snake. Open black lens bracket red flame necromancer snake close black lens bracket. Grade. Bronze 1 star. Level. Level 33. Power. 354. Physique. 351. Speed. 368. 349. Skill. Undead venom passive. The snake's body contains highly poisonous, which can cause two negative effects. Undead invasion and paralysis. Undead invasion. After being infected, the body quickly loses vitality and becomes a mummy. Pounce and bite, active. Venom squirt, active. Description. The Crimson Flame Demon Snake Clan, who originally lived in the Twilight Forest, was affected by the blood of an unknown necromancer and mutated. The body is contaminated with the breath of the undead, and the venom also has the effect of the undead attack. Living habits have also entered the ground from the ground, and they are extremely sensitive to the light breath. Sure enough, it was a magic snake infected by unknown death chi and blood. So you are really close to your destination. After seeing the information of the magic snake, Qin Feng was not surprised but delighted. Been looking for it for a week. Up to now, there are finally some clues. How could he not be excited to see the second angel in sight? Xiaoyan, I leave it to you, kill them. Hear Qin Feng's words. Xiao Yan couldn't wait for a long time. Swish. Lightly flap the wings. Just rushed over. Halfway through the flight, the great sword of sanctions appeared in the palm of his hand out of thin air. Then a dazzling holy light burst out from the giant sword. After seeing the holy light, several magic snakes showed humanized fear in their eyes. Hiss. Hiss. After spraying out a few groups of pitch black venom with a breath of death. He even drilled directly into the big hole on the ground, there was no way he could have any thoughts of resistance under Xiao Yan's brilliance. Flee in a hurry. Purify. Holy light. Xiao Yan's tone was full of sacred taste. Brush. Brush. She flashed a few times in a row, and rushed to the big pit on the ground. Boom. The giant sword slashed down fiercely. This sword was so powerful that it cut the ground into a terrifying pit nearly one meter deep. Zero. Asking for flowers. A few streams of dark blood sprayed out from the pit like a fountain. At the same time, Qin Feng's information panel also received a prompt. 
Xiao Yan killed the Red Flame Necromantic Snake, level 33, Bronze Boss rewarding 800 experience points. Close Black Lens Bracket. Xiao Yan killed the Red Flame Necromancer Snake, level 33, Bronze Boss. Open Black Lens Bracket Xiao Yan killed the Red Flame Necromantic Snake, close Black Lens Bracket. Open Black Lens Bracket Small, close Black Lens Bracket. Several prompts sounded in succession. While Qin Feng was pleasantly surprised. Also have some doubts. Isn't there only three magic snakes? Where is this fourth beep coming from? I haven't had time to think about it carefully. Rumble. The ground trembled wildly, as if an earthquake had struck. Next moment, where Qin Feng and Wang Ya were standing. Suddenly, it collapsed toward the bottom of the ground. Crash. Earth and rocks fall. A large pit with a diameter of more than 10 meters appeared on the ground. Qin Feng and Wang Ya couldn't react in time, and fell straight into the depths of the pit. Elder brother. Seeing this, Xiao Yan flapped his wings and flew down. Twilight Forest, another place. Two figures in black. Sitting around a fire. The other figure is the corpses of the snakes that were killed just now. Wear it with a wrist-thick wooden stick, put it on the fire, and keep rotating the barbecue. After a while. Zilala. Zilala. The three servings of snake meat are roasted golden and flowing with oil, full of fragrance. Zero. While the three of them were devouring the snake meat, the voices of conversation kept coming out. Boss, we have been searching for a whole week, do you think we are looking in the wrong direction? The level of monsters here is almost reaching level 35. Does that kid have the guts to come here? The person who spoke was the third child. After eating a mouthful of meat, he looked at the burly man and said. That's right, boss, those teachers from Shengjing University also entered the forest for some unknown reason. If we don't hurry up, I'm afraid we will be discovered soon. That group of people is completely unreasonable. Expulsion is light. If they find out our identity again, I'm afraid we will die without a place to bury us. The second child also looked at the boss. I understand what you said, but this is the task ordered by Chu Tianfeng after all. In order not to embarrass the Iron Beard boss, we still need to do our best. Well, let's search for another three days. If there is still no result within three days, we will kill Chu Tianfeng. It just so happened that the news came from the fourth side. Didn't Chu Tianfeng also enter the Twilight Forest? It just happens to kill two birds with one stone. No one knows it. Hear what the boss said. The other two were not surprised. Instead, he nodded approvingly. It seems that if you can't complete the task, it is a matter of course to kill the host who issued the task. Rumble. But at this time, in the direction not far away, there was a sound of earth shaking and mountain shaking. Hey, let me just say, I didn't go in the wrong direction. Brothers, the field is alive. The boss looked in the direction of the voice, and the coldness in his eyes flashed past. Then he threw the barbecue in his hand on the ground, and the figure instantly shot towards the direction of the sound. The second child and the third child looked at each other, and there was a cruel smile on the corner of their mouths. After a few flashes, the figure also disappeared in place. Comma. Puff. Ah. How is this possible? I will die in your hands. You are a level 20. Before the man in black finished speaking, Chu Tianfang pulled out the long sword from his neck. Pat. Blood splattered, and the corpse fell to the ground unwillingly. Snort. You underestimate me too. The family background of the Chu family is too underestimated. A mere trash with less than three ranks dares to assassinate me. Dream. Chu Tianfang inserted the long sword back into the scabbard. Back to the body, revealing a dazzling golden color. It turned out to be a complete set of gold suits. Didn't Iron Beard tell you? My Chu family is the strongest family in Fengxian province for making equipment. An Iron Beard, how dare you betray the Lord? When I go back, I will definitely call you a bloody thief. Rumble. Just at this time, there was a shocking sound from a distance. Chu Tianfang looked in the direction of the voice. There is curiosity in the eyes. Is that you, Qin Feng? I hope you won't let me down again. When the words fell, Chu Tianfang's figure had disappeared in place. Go to the mountain in the direction of the sound. Chapter 70. The underground cave is not too deep. Probably only a few hundred meters or so. Relying on Qin Feng's physique and reaction speed. 
almost at the moment of falling. The balance has been adjusted. His body twisted slightly in midair. Then he clung to the wall, and then kicked the wall vigorously under his feet, and the whole person jumped into the air like a light bird. Then he opened his hands and gently embraced Wang Ya in his arms. Then with the help of the wall, after a few maneuvers, it landed gently. Xiao Ya, are you okay? Qin Feng looked at Wang Ya who was constantly struggling in his arms, and replied. I, I'm fine. Wang Ya shook her head lightly, and looked around, did we fall into the underground passage opened by the magic snake? Taking advantage of the light emitted by Xiao Yan, Qin Feng looked around, then nodded, and said. It seems that it should be so. These magic snakes have been active underground for many years, and they have drilled the underground into a thousand holes, forming large holes similar to corridors. Subsequently, Qin Feng observed the surrounding environment. He also listened to the endless, hissing, sound of snakes in his ears, and said. Now that we have come down, and the experience value of the magic snake is very good, let's explore around. Wang Ya nodded, followed closely behind Qin Feng, and walked towards the depths of the corridor. The corridor is very wide. Qin Feng is close to 1.9 meters tall, and can stand upright from the waist completely. It's just that the environment is too dark, and the soil under the feet is too soft, and it's soft to step on it. Both of them were a little worried about whether there would be a second collapse here. Therefore, the speed of exploration between the two is not too fast. After walking for more than 10 minutes, I encountered the first monster. 653, is not a magic snake, but a large lizard with pitch black body and sharp horns on its head. Open black lens bracket necromonitor lizard close black lens bracket. Grade. Bronze. Grade. 34. 356. Physique. 387. 301. Spirit. 298. Skills. Death roll. Hard skin. Charge. Bite. Monitor lizards are also affected by the breath of death. The whole body is full of a smell of death. And. I don't know if this giant lizard has a certain resistance to Xiaoyan's holy light power because it is more affected by the breath of death. When it found Xiao Yan, didn't turn around and run away immediately. On the contrary, he twisted his clumsy and fat body, let out a strange low growl, and jumped towards Xiao Yan directly. With its thick four hooves trampled on the ground, the entire corridor shook accordingly. Sand, gravel and mud fell from the top of his head, hitting Qin Feng's body let it run so recklessly, the corridor must collapse. It's okay for this beast to be buried alive, but Xiao Yake and I will suffer. Think of this. Qin Feng also gave up his plan to do it himself. Looking at Xiao Yan, he said. Xiao Yan, make a quick decision. Understood brother. As soon as Xiao Yan finished speaking, he rushed out impatiently. It can be seen that Xiao Yan hates this kind of monster with the breath of death very much. Almost at the moment when the voice fell, Xiao Yan has already rushed close to the lizard. Seeing Xiao Yan, the necromancer lizard immediately let out a strange cry, and then stomped on the ground with all its limbs, and its huge body flew into the air. At the same time, he opened his bloody mouth, and bit down on Xiao Yan fiercely. Ha! Huh. At the moment the monitor lizard charged, Xiao Yan quickly dodged and flashed to the side of the monitor lizard. Then Xiao Yan's giant sword shone with holy light, and then he slashed the giant sword towards the monitor lizard's neck like a wolf. Puff. The monitor lizard's head was thrown away directly from the body. Blood gushed out from the wound. The galloping corpse flew more than 10 meters according to inertia, and flew to Qin Feng's feet before stopping with a bang. The body twitched for a while on the ground, and the group died completely. Xiao Yan killed the undead monitor lizard and gained 800 experience points. Close black lens bracket. Xiao Yan's level has been raised to level 19. Close black lens bracket. Two pleasant reminders sounded. A gorgeous light descended on Xiao Yan's body. Xiao Yan is level 19. Very good. It is not far from level 20 to advance again. Moreover, the breath of undead here is also particularly strong. Maybe the second angel seed is in this tunnel. It's just double happiness. Qin Feng's mood became extremely joyful. Brush. At this time, a brilliant light also flashed from the monitor lizard's body. Immediately afterwards, a gray treasure chest floated out from the monitor lizard's body. Correct. 
These creatures infected by the breath of the undead have advanced to become bronze-level small bosses. There is a certain chance that the treasure chest will explode. Chin Feng was pleasantly surprised, and hurried forward to open the treasure chest. A blue light flashed. A level 22 bronze long sword appeared in his hand. Although Chin Feng no longer looks down on bronze equipment. But no matter how small a mosquito is, it is still meat. What's more, there may be dozens or hundreds of mosquitoes in this underground cave. Even if the burst rate is lower, at least a few pieces can be made up, and it is also a good choice to go back to school to redeem some credits. Thinking of this, Chin Feng's eyes light up slightly. Hastily rushed towards the corridor in the distance. That's all. Chin Feng and Xiao Yan continued to kill the snakes and lizards in the tunnel. Finally after three hours, approached the depths of the tunnel. At this time, a slight breeze mixed with a bloody smell poured into Chin Feng's nostrils. This bloody smell is different from the stench of the lizard demon snake. Instead, it smells more like human blood. Huh, could it be that humans have already entered here in advance? Chin Feng was a little puzzled, and quickly swept towards the direction of the smell. Brush, brush, Chin Feng was extremely fast. After a few minutes, he approached the bloody place. It was a depression similar to a crater, and with the light emitted by Xiao Yan, it was impossible to see the whole depression clearly. Chin Feng intentionally, the diameter of this depression must exceed at least 2 kilometers. Ha, ha, Chin Feng lay on the edge of the depression, looking down, his heart beating uncontrollably. He quickly pulled Xiao Yan down from midair, and put a piece of clothing on her to cover the light on her body. After doing this, Chin Feng was slightly relieved, and his agitated mood calmed down a little. What's wrong Chin Feng? Seeing Chin Feng's appearance, Wang Ya asked very curiously. During this period of getting along, in her eyes, Chin Feng has long been an omnipotent existence. No matter what happens, Chin Feng was able to handle everything perfectly without being surprised. What is it today? How did you look down and become like this? Wang Ya also imitated Chin Feng and lay down on the edge of the depression, poking her head to look down. But before she showed her face, Chin Feng grabbed her. You can watch it if you want, but promise me not to scream, okay? Chin Feng looked at Wang Ya and said seriously. Yeah, Wang Ya nodded. Holding the edge of the depression with both hands, he poked his head out and glanced down. This glance almost sent Wang Ya away. However, Wang Ya still kept Chin Feng's advice firmly in mind, tightly covering her mouth with one hand, not letting herself make a sound. But her unstoppable trembling body had completely revealed the fear in her heart. It wasn't until Chin Feng hugged her body tightly in his arms, and a huge sense of security came, that Wang Ya slowly calmed down. That's too much. Wang Ya stretched out her finger and pointed to the depression. More, of course, means that there are more monsters. In the depression directly below, hundreds of lizards the size of tigers were densely packed there. In denser places, there were even several lizards huddled together and stacked together. Like a giant ant nest. Ha, ha. Fortunately, most of these lizards are in a deep sleep at the moment, making a sound like a bellows. But there were still a few lizards, with their scarlet eyes wide open, sweeping back and forth in all directions. Among them, several red lights were aimed at Chin Feng's direction, as if there was something disgusting to them. In addition, in the middle of the depression, one can clearly see a huge lizard, which is different from all other lizards. Its individual is definitely the largest of all lizards. The body length is more than 20 meters. He is also as tall as a three-story building. The breath exhaled and the breath was like a strong wind, blowing countless dust. Chin Feng poked his head out and threw an identification technique from a distance. But only got the name of boss. Undead lizard earth dragon, Krogel. Grade. Grade. Skill. Description. The absolute king of the underground lizard family, with a trace of dragon blood, huge in size and infinite in strength. But recently, this king seems to have been affected by an unknown force, becoming more and more violent and bloodthirsty. Good guy. The original blood of the lizard family is already strong enough zero. Unexpectedly, this boss has been strengthened and strengthened, and it already has a trace of dragon blood. Dragons are one of the most powerful creatures in the world. Anything linked to it should not be underestimated. For example, the B-grade earth dragon blood potion that Chin Feng took. 
Even with a trace of earth dragon blood, Qin Feng's attribute value has increased by more than 50 points. One can imagine the horror of the dragon clan. Ha! Huh. Lizard dragon. Qin Feng suddenly thought again. Could the potion he was drinking be extracted from the blood of the boss in front of him? If I can kill this boss, get blood, and refine potions. Maybe it can bring my dragon blood one step closer. Qin Feng's heart became extremely hot. I have secretly made up my mind. This boss must be slaughtered. Subsequently, he continued to look towards the depression, trying to find a strategy to clear the lizard colony. After all, Xiaoyan's skill area is very large, but it is not abnormal enough to cover a diameter of 2 kilometers. If you can't kill all these monitor lizards in seconds, Qin Feng and Wang Yek couldn't stand it. Hundreds of monitor lizards rushed at the same time. Hey, Qin Feng, there seems to be something shining there. At this moment, Wang Ya suddenly stretched out her hand and pointed to a dark place. Qin Feng looked in the direction of the finger. Immediately rejoice. Because that shiny thing is nothing but a smart watch for humans. A watch with a camera function. This watch might be the one that sent the photo to Uncle Wang. The reason why I couldn't get in touch halfway through the sending is that it was most likely attacked by the lizard clan. Then that means, the angel seed is also very likely to be here. It seems that it is imperative to completely clean up these beasts. Step, step, step. At this time, there was a sudden sound of footsteps in the corridor behind. At the same time, a loud voice came from afar. Chin Feng, I know you are here, come out. Chin Feng, get out of here. Chin Feng, hearing the sound getting closer and closer to him, and getting louder. Both Qin Feng's and Wang Ya's complexions suddenly sank. Because the lizards in the depression were all startled by this loud sound. They opened their crimson eyes in unison, and looked in the direction of the voice. As these lizards opened their eyes, the entire underground cave has turned into a crimson color. It's like entering a sea of blood. No, let's go, it's not suitable to stay here for long. Although Qin Feng was very reluctant, he also knew that this was definitely not the time to hold on. Being charged by hundreds of lizards of more than 30 levels, even a second-rank professional will definitely not be able to withstand it. What's more, the terrain here is not stable. Once a collapse occurs, it will be directly buried alive, which will be completely troublesome. In addition, there is also a, earth dragon, that can't see the level at all. If you stay here any longer, you are looking for your own death. Thinking of this, Qin Feng didn't have any nostalgia anymore. After looking back at his watch, he pulled Wang Yan rushed towards the direction he came from without looking back. Ang, ang, ang. The moment Qin Feng turned around and left, the lizards also let out loud howls. The entire cave was trembling, and the sand fell from the top with a clatter. This place is about to collapse, run. Qin Feng broke out with the speed of breastfeeding, and rushed with all his strength brush. But at this moment, Qin Feng had just run a distance of less than 100 meters. Qin Feng, FK me. A bright knife light suddenly appeared from the shadows and slashed at Qin Feng's head. Clang. A sound of gold and stone intersecting came, and Xiao Yan shot directly, and the giant sword swept across, beheading the owner of the sword glow, flying away far away. The figure hit the wall and was deeply embedded in it. Qin Feng took a glance and found that he didn't recognize this person, so he cursed, stupid. Then, he took out a bronze long knife from the space of the system, and aimed at this person with all his strength, throwing the long knife directly like throwing a javelin. After throwing the long knife, Qin Feng still felt that it was not enough to relieve his anger. Shout out to Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan agrees with each other. Suddenly, the great sword shone with divine light. A storm of holy light formed instantly, sweeping towards that figure. Qin Feng also took this opportunity to throw a holy light ball at this person. Then I didn't see if the skill hit or not. Then he pulled Wang Ya and ran towards the exit without looking back. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.